The latest now on breaking news that's been developing here in central Indiana all day. Thousands of Hoosiers could be out of a job unless someone steps in to save Marsh. As we first reported on the WTHR app, the company announced it will close all of its remaining 44 stores if it can't find a buyer in 60 days. Now, to put that in perspective, the number of jobs on the line at Marsh is almost double what Carrier originally planned to move to Mexico. Tonight, our Emily Longnecker joins us live with what's at stake and what it will really take to save all those jobs. Emily. Well, Ann and John, difficult news for those Marsh employees especially, but also their customers. A lot of Marsh customers telling us they hate to see this happen, but many saying they are not surprised given word of the closures that came down in the past few months. Now, today's announcement is for the 44 remaining Marsh stores, 40 of those here in Indiana. If there is no buyer or investor found in the next 60 days, they will close. That would put nearly 2,800 Marsh employees out of a job. More than a thousand of those are full-time workers. Now, signs of trouble began earlier this year. In the first three months, Marsh announced a handful of closures. In April and then earlier this month, they announced 15 more stores would follow. Now comes today's word that the remaining 44 stores will be closing if Marsh cannot find a company to take over. Regular customers wonder what will happen to employees if no one steps in. So your concern is more for the employees. Yes, it? exactly. I, I can manage. I'm, I'm just, I feel sorry for them. And a Marsh spokesperson tells us that they are now working with an investment banking firm to try and find a buyer or investor, but that July 1st deadline is looming. And John? All right. Emily Longnecker reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. And Marsh